I'm, I'm, no. hang on. I might be going on eBay right now. We got to take a look. Oh, look. A G- G- a yes. GPD win. The ever yeah, elusive uh, Steam, Deck. Steam Deck OS 3. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. This show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how to's, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin in beautiful 480p o vision this week because. Hi, Charter, your internet, internet, business internet exploded. I look forward to you deducting that from my bill. That'll never happen. But here in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, joined this week by the man up in Toronto, one Jordan Svang. He is a Stargate-watching machine. And speaking of machines, the Dark Souls, 100 hole. hours in, and the game's only been out for three days. One page uh, of Mateus. A couple of weeks, but yeah. <laughs> what is time anymore, <laughs> He Pedro. doesn't know. Well, he had to think about it. He's like, "Can I? Is that right? I don't really know." <laughs> well, it, it's it's at about it's at that point. Like, no, no, that happened two weeks ago. No, that happened yesterday. Uh, huh? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Even on like Wednesday, we were doing weekly day. I legitimately had to crack open the t- calendar. A, what day was it? B, what month was it? Legitimately, two yeah. questions. But hey, life finds a way. So we. So we were kind of talking about in the pre-pre super shows in the olden days, in the old time, ten years ago like the maximum amount of bandwidth I had available to stream was like 2.4 megabits up. So we're very much in limp mode. Uh, Jordan and Pedro are getting the, uh, like the reference pixels. Potato yes. experience. Yeah. Yeah. We can technically see who's on screen at this point. It's like, if you feel veritably French fried, if you were, uh, you know, uh, developed vision problems later on. And, uh, you're like, I see a blur, but it's a familiar blur. That's kind of where we're at this week. I wonder, I wonder if you could like take those depixelization, like those demosaicing algorithms and apply it to this episode. Oh, of Linux man, there's, there's an industry like in a Japan sailboat. that would fuck that up, man. There right. Right. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we wanted to be live for you. Chat Realm Dynamic helping us form Cocaine Voltron. That is a thing. But gentlemen, what have we been up to? What is, I know, Pedro, you haven't posted anything because you've consisted of work dark souls elden ring but yes <laughs> it's it's uh, as it turns out the new dark souls that's not called dark souls is actually a pretty fun and pretty good game uh my 1080 can only do uh a 1600 by 900 on the medium preset and it holds 60 most of the time except sometimes when you're out in the big open world you're looking a certain way and it goes 40. Okay. 40 it is. <laughs> hey man, you've but been playing games on Linux me. long enough to know that. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I think I better look at the floor right now. Jordan, outside of um, coining Skull Ducat. Um, yeah. Skull, I'm, I'm really mad that like at no point during that last episode of Picard, we're like, nah, it's me, the talking skull of Gold Ducat, motherfucker, I'm back. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Um, I, yeah, I, I finished my uh, training block uh, this week. My body is in a lot of pain. I'm looking forward to a week of recovery. Oh, oh is that yes. different than like completing a training sphere? Um, yes, because then I have to deadlift up ways and down ways. I, pr- I prefer the, the workout hemisphere. Okay. Seems like a nice rounded solution. Uh, haven't been playing around with a whole lot, uh, boring stuff in the studio, like swapping out cables and yeah, no, nothing exciting to report. The most exciting thing I had was coming home this afternoon. No, it was yesterday. Cause it, well, I confirmed it this afternoon, went to play uh track mania. Come hang out with us. We're doing it again Tuesday for practice session and uh, the rest of the filthy casuals go to stream. Cause you typically don't check the upload stream. My bandwidth's relatively stable to we're like, what the hell? I still kind of flip out if there's ever an issue. And I go to light up the uh, Twitch stream yesterday when we we're going to do our points match. You know, we hand out some free games and stuff like that. And it's just like, huh? Well, you put in that service call and I went and checked it this afternoon when I got home. I'm like, well, that's still a problem. And Charter's like, get wrecked. It's windy, son. Click. Fine. Yeah. That blows. Uh, not as much as the horse. Oh, man, no. <laughs> in, 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 insert your own oral sex reference here. It's the steam. Gluck, gluck, gluck. That's pa- the pa- sound pa- the horse makes. 
That's how you know, <laughs> man. <laughs> the, 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 listen, the horse is also the throat goat. Let's be real. <laughs> okay. So happy, merry year of Steam, everyone. The 2021 year in review is out, and Steam's got a bunch of stuff to just kind of lay it down, just drop it on the table. Tell you things, uh, what's going on? 27% increase in spending on everyone. So yeah, they are printing 27% more money, which is awesome. 2.6 million first-time purchases each month, <laughs> not throughout the year, each month of 2021. And um, those remote play numbers, I, I didn't see them anywhere, Jordan. I was looking around I'm like, hmm, where are they at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what, they were, what they were saying was like the, the out of the total number of, um, of remote play sessions of people just like streaming shit to their phone, mm-hmm. 34% of them were actually people engaging in like multiplayer games for like uh, using remote play instead of couch co-op. So apparently it is getting some adoption, uh, about, about one, one third of, yeah, about a third of all the, uh, role play together sessions, hmm. yeah. which is, uh, I mean, okay. Yeah. But if it is a one third of people are actually using steam remote play, then there aren't a whole lot of people using, uh, the streaming thing. <laughs> the, well, I mean, that uh, would have to work under Linux, Pedro. Well, yes. <laughs> But uh, speaking of uh, the the thing that jumped out at me because they have the section about the uh, the Steam Deck at the end is they did something real clever in two ways. Uh, they did the deck reservation thing, so it's like, oh yeah, we could just have people throw five bucks, four pounds, I think it was five euros too, um, to reserve their place in the queue. And then we can actually have the release the following year, so we can have double the profits. And curb the um, the whole uh, secondary market for people trying to scalp the Steam Deck. They're trying. If you go look on eBay, you do see some scalpers attempting to uh, sell, I think it's like $1,300 or something like that for a Steam Deck. I'm, I'm, no. hang on. I might be going <laughs> to eBay right now. We got to take a look. Oh, look. Uh- <laughs> G- G- uh, yes, GPD win. The ever yeah, elusive Steam, uh, Steam Deck. Steam Deck OS 3. This is totally GP- legit, you guys. We got to buy one of these. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah no, they, they, they threw Steam OS on the GPD win, too. Oh, man. Man. This experience. Is a, a experience. Sorry. Please give me a description. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not a Steam Deck. Oh, I, I I like how eBay is just completely fucked. It's like not a Steam Deck. Did you be here? Here's your search results for Steam Deck. That's not Steam Deck. Oh hmm. man! In hand, fast shipping, twenty bids, eighteen and bidding, twenty four bids, <laughs> sixteen hundred. Oh, Canada. People, people are people are paying for this shit though. That's that's what uh, uh, the FOMO. It, 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 it's bad. <laughs> That is, but that speaking is, of, oof, oh yeah, yeah, the deck. <laughs> uh, as it turns out, Valve did it good. Uh, Elden Ring, as uh, I mentioned earlier, uh, it was a bit choppy. Well, it still is a bit choppy if you have a Pascal GPU. But uh, if you have a Steam Deck, as it turns out, it runs very, very well. And how you may ask? Because Valve went, we're just going to uh, push all of the. Um, shader caches and everything on release. So people playing it on Linux using VK 3D were actually had a much better experience than those playing on Windows using the native DX12. Man, those crabs look like a significantly pain in the ass to kill too, man. Giant enemy crabs, yeah. man. Yes. <laughs> the yeah, crabs are not too bad. It's the lobsters. Damage. The lobsters are uh the real the real pain in the ass. But yeah, it is uh it is significantly smoother if you're trying to play Elden Ring on Linux. The frame rates uh, may not be as high as if you have like a high-end GPU, obviously, but it is consistently smoother because, yeah, you don't have to wait for it to cache. You don't have to wait for the uh, object streaming while you're in the big open world because it is a big, massive world uh, because it's already cached. So... And you could actually what? test the uh, the difference on that because when when it first released, Valve had the um, Proton Experimental with um, the the bleeding edge bits that had all of this in place, and you had say Proton GE, which had 
none of this. So you can switch between the two and see exactly what kind of experience the people on Windows were getting. And it was rough. It was real rough. Now that Proton G is based on Proton Experimental, it's up to par, so it's not an issue. I mean, this is this is the I've been saying this for a while. This is the pro of having Valve controlling the driver stack all the way down. Shitty DirectX 12 programming, be damned. You want to do you want to do reads from write only memory? That's fine. We got you. Violate the whole <laughs> the resizable bar thing, but uh, you know, You're not supposed we, to be doing we, that. We, 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 <laughs> we can't know, reasonably man. expect programmers to uh, to adhere to their hey, own hey, spec. Hey, hey, don't, don't don't throw the entire development community. The deck has shown its true power right now, and that power is overcoming a, I guess, expected shitastic Japanese PC port of a video game. I mean, nobody went. It, it's not the first time from software has had I'm a shitastic. I'm just saying, in, <laughs> in, in general, nobody went le gasp when they're like a performance issue. <laughs> Yeah, you knew that was going to come. Uh, I'm kind of curious, though. Like, what do they mean by smoother than an RTX 3070? Consistent frame choppy. times. Um, yeah. Yeah, It it like the frame time is consistent. It's, again, you're getting lower uh, overall FPS, mm -hmm. but the frame time is consistent. So you, well, if that, you always that, have the frame was... time, it looks smoother. <laughs> that, that, that was one of the advantages of uh, ACO as a, as a shader compiler is that it's a lot faster than LLVM. Mm -hmm. So it can, it can support the faster shader uh, or the frame delivery timings. So you know, that Well, Jordan, broke. couldn't this all be solved by just getting rid of this uh, Linux thing and installing a hacker <laughs> OS on your Linux uh, gaming <laughs> console? <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Stay tuned uh, to the yeah, 10 hour so version of that. Absolutely, it's going to loop. I, I can probably keep it up for at least like 10 minutes. Uh, but well, then, the, you know, you know, never mind. Never mind. End, end of that joke. Uh, yeah. So uh, people that Valve has been has finally released the Windows drivers for the Steam Deck. People were saying, oh, we got it. We got to see how Windows runs on the Steam Deck. We got to see the real comparison to see if Steam OS is even worth it. Lo and behold, we got uh, GPU drivers. We got Wi-Fi drivers. There's Bluetooth drivers. But. Windows has finally reached feature parity with Linux. Sound does not work on the deck <laughs> unless you have a USB dongle that will provide just a generic uh, sound thing. Yeah. So uh, there, there's that. There's also the fact that, you know, the battery life is complete garbo. Um, performance is shit. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, win, window, window, Windows 10 only because uh, they don't have the TPM module. That's apparently coming in a revision though. So there will be decks out in the, future sometime that will support windows 11 but right now no dice uh yeah uh games run so bad that gpd tried to put out like a, oh look at this pc marks or this 3d mark score on the steam deck it's so bad lol and there's like a windows start menu like clearly at the bottom wait what I missed this. Yeah, yeah. This was the, uh, it, it was in uh, it was in Discord. I think it was uh, earlier today. It was uh, Daisy or someone like that. Uh, let me, as as I as I scroll furiously uh, up, but uh, yeah, uh, G, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, it was Daisy. GPD uh, their Twitter account put out a thing like, mm, "Interesting, bad 3D mark score." But it was of of the Steam Deck running Windows, and the entire Twitter thread was just like people roasting them, pointing uh, out it's like, "Oh, so you ran the 1440p uh, benchmark on the deck, and you're claiming that it's not so good." Yeah, can you do that with one of your own devices too? We'd love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they waste it? Because, okay, now here, here's my real question. Does anybody put those two, like, I, I don't have those, like, mentally in the same category, you know? The, the, the GPD They're versus really the Steam Deck? Yeah, the, like, the GPD Win 3 is close-ish? <laughs> Ish? <laughs> I don't know. I was multitasking. I'm sorry. I had to, like, spam that. There we are on deck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, L Linux Gamecast on Steam We're Network on verified deck. for deck. We're on to the deck. That, that's you, 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 can, you, can you can rub the areolas and my nipples will get hard. Uh, oh man. Guaranteed. I Send your support tickets to Valve if it doesn't work. It's a proton issue. Hey, I won't go ahead and tell everybody it didn't <laughs> fall in tonight because we're having some bandwidth issues, but hopefully, uh, plus it'll be a better experience next week. Uh, we'll get Strider on. Strider's got his deck in his hands right now and he's going to be tell us about how, you know, things other than Valve works. You know, he knows a thing or two about that Lutris <laughs> program. But, yeah, no sound. Uh, don't expect anything like that. No support from Valve. They were just flat out saying that. Like, do not contact Valve if you run off and install your hacker operating system 
on your Linux console. It's like, you can have the drivers, do with them as you will. We don't support it. Bye. I watched <laughs> that entire Linus Tech Tips video about it. And the entire time he was complaining, like, why isn't Valve? Do we really think Valve is going to support Windows on the deck? They should be providing drivers. Uh, like, it's, no. it's like, oh, yes, all of those arguments that I've heard. Linux there's no users optimization say on, for, device, for Windows on the deck. After device. Game yeah. after game, and now if, if someone is saying is the that, same, but for Windows, why, why, why is the performance different? Well, yeah, it, it's, okay. it's hilarious. <laughs> now, uh, um, you can see the argument because this is something on the Linux side we dealt with for a long. No official support from vendors. I'm like, mm-hmm. so we got to roll our own. Welcome to the club. Okay, now that <laughs> that bit has been flipped. So yes, it's officially supported, and you're going to get the hardware and software support under Linux on Windows. Have fun. Roll your own. Yeah. Yeah, on, on Windows, uh, rely on the community. Oh, what's that? The Windows community isn't quite as... Um, Here's what I'm scared of, though. Here's what savvy. I'm scared of. <laughs> Install Windows 10 on your deck.sh. I, 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 said it in, I said it in Discord earlier. I want to see someone get fucking OS 10 running on the Steam Deck. I want to see how games perform natively in OS 10 on the Steam Deck. Well, you can do it only after you've updated your deck. Yes, because there's a new uh, client available for the Steam Deck. If you are one of the lucky few to have uh, either gotten your review unit or your dev kit, and your dongle, uh, if you're don't game developer your dongle. Or software developer. Uh, yes, your da- uh, okay. or- you're going to Micro Center in downtown LA. Yes, <laughs> not find a USB dock <laughs> after you get the USB Type C thing. But yeah, uh, if you have one uh there's a new update and you may have noticed the option yeah the the big one that ben's highlighting there added a 15 fps option to the uh little slidery thing which used to have just 30 40 something uh 60 and uncapped i think it was the last one uh but now you have 15 as well yeah and the um it's got a bunch of new uh controller specific things like you have uh numeric display values to the setting sliders and um, the ability to manually enter a specific value on the setting sliders. So those sliders are getting a lot of love. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, also for the sliders. There we go. Fix the bug where the last change to a setting slider wouldn't save. <laughs> is is, is a slider for White Castle? <laughs> like, yeah, seriously. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but yeah, there, 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 there's talk about like the, the, the 15 frames a second thing. I don't know. I guess like, Pe- Pedro, I think I think you got it right on the money, right? Like it's either going to be like porn. It's going to be like hentai visual novels, which Foxy in oh, the yeah. notes has correctly identified that it's supposed <laughs> to be clop, not hentai. So Mr. Fox Dog, thank Fair. you for the corruption. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, yeah, pu- puzzle games and strategy games shit like stuff that you would want to play for like extended periods of times that really don't rely on animation um and yeah, the timing like, isn't really all that important you just need to yeah because like the, the 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 battery on the deck is like the most legitimate complaint it, it, it oh, has yeah. a very finite mm-hmm. battery so anything you can really do to stretch it out aside, aside from like adding some duct tape and a battery bank is gonna you, well, you gotta do what you gotta do right I'm immediately also keyboard themes. Well, I'm keyboard thinking themes. about this, man. Like when you drop it down to like 15, because these apparently still sell. How many times have you been sorting through uh, games? And you're like, oh shit, that looks like a bitch and cover. Or what is this? And you mouse over and it's just the white field text adventure yep. thing. Text. Yep. <laughs> like no graphics. That could just, easily run at one FPS. Yeah. It'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so or fortress. Yeah. Like all, all, all that. There's, there's, there's a ton of stuff on Steam that doesn't require like. All, like a lot, a lot of frames. We we we, we review most of these games on Linux Gamecast. Stay well, tuned. I mean, if your target's like fifteen frames a second, you know, thirty would be optimal. Maybe it's just like uh, a setting for pirates. Maybe. That's how your eyes work, right? When you close one, you can only... <laughs> oh, it's only fifteen in each eye. There are yeah, no, 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 it's, 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 no, no, it's interlaced. Like you, it's you, you, I, you got four, four, yeah. four, 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 yeah, uh, so you uh, you might think, oh, an- another Minecrafting game. What's so different about this one? Oh, let me tell you, this one's isometric, baby. You can add 0. 0.5 a dimension to your Terraria experience. Uh, yeah, so Core Keeper, um, it's in early access right now, uh, and it is a Minecrafting exploring building game, much like Terraria, supports up to eight people uh, in co-op, which is kind of the big thing. Eight, right? eight players is like Online legit- co-op. Online go up. <laughs> this, this it's it's the thing that we see so rarely, and every time like 
every time someone's like, I, I will give your game a look if you have online like co-op or multiplayer. Cause like other, if it's something I wouldn't even otherwise consider, cause it's like, Hey, at least it's something I can play with a friend. Right. I don't have to be yep. alone in the COVID times right. trapped in my basement. So, you know, unfortunately I think with like eight players, uh, this will quickly devolve into like, uh, <laughs> Uh, factionalism yeah well possibly let's see what it takes to run um 64-bit processor nvidia 1650 or 950 on the low end yeah i mean yeah it requires what you would expect from a pixel game but yeah we're, we're gonna turn this into uh uh like last man standing yeah just, just, just start like blaring some megadeth holy wars i think that's yeah. pretty deep. um yeah. so uh what do we get up next oh uh, up next up next we have the news okay <laughs> yeah coming up next we're gonna talk to you about stadia development and how you can write your own windows emulator <laughs> from Ooh. scratch brilliant am i waiting okay right <laughs> Well, uh, it's the news uh, now that the waiting is over. Uh, uh, I hope it was as thrilling for you as it was for me. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, I don't know, if you if you liked what you've seen so far and you, you think that it's a good idea to, you know, support this particular brand of uh, crazy stuff. That Baby, happens, you got to walk into Jordan. it. You got to work on your sales pitch. You got to walk in and be like, hey, man, <laughs> check it out. We're going to call it the Linux Gamecast diet plan. Having problems sticking to your diet. <laughs> What you got to do is become is a Patreon. Shit? Head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. If you pledge to a high enough level. Give us your level, lunch money. It, exactly. It will cut into your food budget. We will be doing you a favor. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, uh, amongst the other things Linux Gamecast does to help you lose weight, <laughs> like a parasite, is actually suck the life force out of you. And we've been doing it for 499 episodes. Yeah, but head on over to patreon.com. Sign up for that. You get cool shit for uh, for becoming a patron. You get access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch. But you get cooler shit via Discord or uh, via via Patreon, like uh, the pre-pre-super shows and video feed, custom RSS feeds, early access to videos that Ven put out. What's out? Uh, Ven, do we have any interfacing Linux stuff coming up? That Oh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I need you to go over the VX222. I've written the warning bits. So take a look at that when you get a chance. And hey, if you just like All this right. nonsense, this train wreck, Editor. this is just a slice of this train wreck. This train wreck has a beginning and an end. This is just the juicy middle part. I put that in podcast format and video format this week. It's going to be in special 480p vision because... Brought to you by Charter Business. Um, but normally that's in the much higher quality custom RSS feed. Throwing all that in there, trying to sweeten the pot, and we do appreciate your support. But if you'd like to wear us all over your face, chest, and wait, neck, wait, 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 we got, we got to thank some people though. We got some new Patreons. We got, we got Steam, and we got, we got Tomas. We got Steam, Steam, <laughs> Stein, Stein. Stein. Oh, and not the actual Steam. Okay. I don't know. I, <laughs> Stein, Stein, I had a Stein reflex reaction to go update. <laughs> When you said uh, of, of of the Thomas, <laughs> I was confused, but, but, man. But, oh yes, uh, uh, new Pedro, patron you, you, and Thomas is a new executive producer. So Pedro has to come up with some cool new facts about our new Patreon. This is true. I really so wish you wouldn't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> never gonna let you live it down. Never, 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 never. I, I don't know. Um, is it pronounced Stein or Stein? Uh, either way, uh, it is a very powerful name. Totally unrelated to a Ven Stone or uh, technically my first name. What, what about uh, Ven Stein? means Stone in old um, Greek. But uh, and Tomas. Uh, Tomas, I do wonder because I do know a Tomas, the, you know, the developer of uh, Eurotruck Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the one Tomas that I'm aware of. So, so if that's he's, not he's, you, he's I'm gonna totally drive sorry. a truck on you. <laughs> I really hope so. Maybe he's gonna run a train <laughs> on him. Hey, check this out. Though, as I was saying, store.linuxemcast.com. Put us all over your face, chest, and neck. We got shirts. We got stickers. We got posters. We do not have this poster. Sorry, that's one no, of the guys. We, 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 we don't sell those. We, <laughs> no, we don't have the rights to that. Doesn't exist. And uh, yeah, we appreciate your support. Like, show, subscribe, do all the fun stuff and social media things, and click bells and shit, and we will forever be your best friends. Now, we need to talk about something. W wish zones? That is even cooler than wish zones. We got, <sighs> by the way, we got wish zones. Head over to linuxingvest.com <laughs> o o over the uh, support thing, and there's a drop down. Jordan has a wish place. Pedro's got a wish hole. I got one for the studio. Jill's got one. 
And if you want to buy something for the show, help us do what we do here. Most of it's like show related. Some of it's not, but hey, man, whatever. The, the bonus soda for this is you get to send in a little square piece of paper that all of us have to read. So make of that what you will. You can even get your Spin name in lights behind wisely. Ben's head. I'm not going to tell him about that, man. Come on. I got to tell him about <laughs> some. I'm excited, Jordan. I know. I know you are. Stadia, you got to curb your enthusiasm. Stadia is back. From the dead? Forever? Oh, man. Welcome. Uh, okay. This is a post by, geez, Marvel. Mar- Marvel. Marvel. Right. Let's go with that, man. <laughs> Under speculation. What's uh, one of these sessions from at the Googles, at the Googles, at Google for Game Developer Summit is unmodified Windows games on Stadia, which I I, I did some uh, looking around. I'm like, well, okay, is this going to be like a real thing? Is it? And there is, in fact, a talk that's going to be going down. Uh, hey, I was surprised Google hasn't really admitted that Stadia still exists for a minute. You know, it's been a couple of months. They're like, but then again, it's Google. And now they're covering a bunch of things like how to write a Windows emulator for Linux from scratch and other strange things. 22 minutes. Um, press X to doubt. G- g- <laughs> uh, g- no, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna go to go, go to get.wine.com, get clone, the wine source. Oh, I thought you were just going to go to the Proton Git and just fork that. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Here, here, here's the thing, though. Um, I, I agree with you, Ben. Like, maybe this is some some stuff that Google should have put out a little bit earlier. Also, uh, hashtag so that, just go fuck yourself, Destiny. Too, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, here, here's the thing, though. At least Google is capable of operating a live stream, so it shouldn't be the same train wreck from when Steam tried to live stream a bunch of their developer stuff. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was reading through all the updates and everything that Google was saying about Stadia. I'm like, man, holy fuck. Uh, that should have been available, every single bit of it, at launch. And you might have stood a chance, Google, because that sales pitch, that initial launch date with Stadia, with all the cool shit that it just doesn't do yet, two years on, um, maybe. I'm really surprised to see Google putting some money into something, because it's Google. They usually just take something and back, poof gone never happened now stadia is an example of what happens when you put the onus all the work on the game developer set you're like even if you do that with a and here's a check you're going to get very limited return on that investment because that's a lot of damn work you're like oh we got to port something over to this thing valve had it more interesting facilitate the ease for developers and publishers you know making like the white label service because I don't think what they're currently doing right now is going to sell anybody. But maybe if they can just like, all right, give us your Windows game and we can automatically Google fi it and Stadia eyes it and it'll work as a streaming. Stadia eyes. Yeah. Stadia eyes. <laughs> it's like laser eyes, but with stadiums. <laughs> yeah. Shoots an entire stadium out of an eye hole. <laughs> it only works uh, once, but goddamn, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the question here is: uh, Are they going to be doing their own version of wine, or are we talking like running Windows in a KVM? It's called Gein. <laughs> Stein. Plus. Oh, uh, there we go Google, again. Google is not. A, are, are are you implying that our newest Patreon is actually the Google middleware service allowing Windows games to run on Stadia? It might Possibly. also be hush money. Although yes. I. I, I did see the uh, like uh, pedantic back and forth of uh, wine is not an emulator uh, conversation on that particular Reddit thread. So uh, if you two would like to have catharsis uh, <laughs> just from reading a Reddit thread, that's the one to go to. It, it's it's genius as someone just getting downvoted to high hell <laughs> and not learning and doubling and tripling and so, quadrupling what, down. So on when, 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 is, when is this? <laughs> when is this actually coming out? Because the talk hasn't happened yet. This is just the listing for the talk that will I don't know. We'll, everything we know, we're going to tell I couldn't you. Find we're going to put it in the show notes so you can click on the links and shit and find out for yourself. <laughs> but, <laughs> Jordan, you had some thoughts on this. <sighs> yeah, I mean, what, the, 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 the Stadia thing? I'm just trying to move it through. Choo-choo. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> let, 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 let's talk about non-port, non-streaming game portability options uh wine sap <laughs> os uh this, this this is pretty neat uh it is a distribution that you can throw on an external hard drive uh and 
It'll it runs it is now based off of the latest Steam OS, and it lets you just run some games on library computers. Suck it, unpaid underpaid IT workers. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> basically you you pl- you plug it in, you you mash F twelve on the library computer BIOS screen, get it to boot off your uh, off your external hard drive, play some games, profit. Uh, no Nvidia. But what support if I have moment. a Mac OS? Oh, well, so there, there, there's a, there's a lovely little re, uh, read me here about like, well, why did you pick Linux for this operating system and not Mac OS? And they're like, games don't fucking run on Mac OS. What the hell are you talking about? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like I said, uh, no, no NVIDIA support uh, at the moment. Uh, it is Intel and AMD only. So uh, if your library computer, for whatever reason, is filled with if your library is filled with computers with like RTX 2080s or whatever. A, tell me where you live and <laughs> when that library closes. And uh, B, you have got a really cool library. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's available right now. You can play some games on a public computer or at Ikea if yeah, you can no. hijack one of their POS it's, terminals. This kind of live uh, OS with persistent storage is nothing new. But the gaming focus, that, that, that that's interesting. I, I, I remember a couple of other the distros in the past that try this, but... They tend to disappear after a while. They just drop off the map, and then the last thing you hear is like, oh, yeah, I, you know, literally everything else is happening, and I'm not going to deal with this anymore. If anyone wants to uh, take the battle forward, by all means. But I do have a 120 gig SSD somewhere uh, that I can repurpose for this just to give it a shot and see how it goes. I don't know. Play some games on your work computer. Install it on your Steam Deck. Probably divide by zero, <laughs> bitches. I mean, it, it, is, it is just Steam OS, so like, yeah. just to see. What I mean, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I get my hands on a Steam Deck, I, I'm not actively asking for one either. So I'll keep that in mind because the next I part, I'm, I will probably end up finding a way to brick it unintentionally. But I'm like, I wonder if followed by. <laughs> I, as long as you can get into the BIOS, it's probably fine. Yeah, Pedro, but I'm going to be sitting with my oscilloscope looking for test pads. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I mean, the Steam Deck is still using X for the main KDE session, so you can tie it. You can use an oscilloscope as a display for your Steam Deck. Fair point. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> one thing that uh, Valve has brought, well, they Valve has helped facilitate is um, shader caching with um, Vulcan cache. Yeah, the Vulcan yeah. cache. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it's it's one it's one of the problems where when you're when you're implementing you know the DirectX nine thing under Linux via Vulkan you know you don't you don't have all the built in shit so uh, yeah uh, a lot of the times you're gonna have to when you're starting up a new game via playing with Lutris or even even new games coming out on Steam you're gonna have to run around in circles for a while until the game stops being chuggy Valve tries to mitigate that by collecting the shader caches and distributing them to uh, players so that you can you know play games a little bit faster. Pedro was talking about that as part of the reason why Elden Ring runs a little bit better on the Steam Deck. But yep. it's not a vendor-neutral solution. If you're going to be gaming with Lutris, if you're going to be gaming with Heroic, or you just want to launch some shit out of a terminal, you're not... Uh, you're going to be stuck running around in circles, but not anymore. DXV Cache. Mm. Kcash? I don't know. Um is a vendor neutral way of extracting the shader caches for games. Um, There isn't a corresponding service to share them, but now we have the ability to extract them. And that is kind of the crucial step zero before we can get around sharing it. So now that we have it, hopefully we can get like, I don't know, shader hub or something. Uh, Yes. (laughs) I mean, yeah. Maybe maybe some, maybe some Lutris integration. Oh yeah. (laughs) I mean, you think about that because it's not just Valve you're dealing with. You got Lutris, you got Heroic Games Launcher and maybe whatever's, running Epic game store this week, uh, but just having that database accessible would yeah. be pretty and, neat. And yeah. I, I really want, they do give you the, how to contribute. So you have all the steps there. So get to sharing those shadery bits so that everyone and those projects can have access to it. Yes. Please. And, you know, <laughs> you're talking about uh, how important this is. Cause I, I can't speak to uh, the latest dark souls, say Elden Ring again. Onion rings. <laughs> Onion you already rings. did. <laughs> um, if you is, like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like but it. I did have experience recently, which like, oh, this is the old times uh, with Apex Legends, because I installed that and I played that within, you know, the first couple hours of it being officially supported. And uh, that was a herky-jerky stutter fest because you're waiting for those shaders. The trick is to wait till that next day. Then you're like, oh, I have to download 1.6 gigs of shaders and all of a sudden everything's nice and smooth. So having that functionality just 
out of the box with a lot more people with other games that aren't necessarily on Steam. Pretty good idea. Big fan yep. of it. Now, yep. <laughs> Discord. Do you think you can get Discord on your deck? Would that be like, could you catch it? Be like, ooh. Uh, if you have Discord on your deck, pack, please contact your doctor. But <laughs> or either a flat pack or just download the tar.gz and set it up yourself. But yes, you probably could. Uh, if you want an overlay, though, well, well, the, there's Discover. We talked about Discover, uh, which I, it's still a terrible name because that's the name of the KDE package manager. Also available on the Steam Deck. Go figure. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Discord overlay, Discover, <laughs> clever. Uh, they have enforced uh, 1200, uh, 1280 by 800 resolution if you're in game scope mode. So if you built your own box that you're running game scope, maybe you're, you've been running some form of a Steam um, big picture mode. Well, then you're stuck uh, at uh, 1280 by 800. So you're going to have to get creative as to how you place the um, the overlay. Outside of that, they do have a couple of specific fixes for game scope, which, given the resolution, you get bonus they're boys for just having you merge. You got Gen two support. Well done. Yeah, you got, yes. got the Fedor. <laughs> yeah, they they did add a lot more sarcasm to their readme too, as as of this release. They did. <laughs> oh man, why do you keep making Discord overlays? I feel like I shouldn't have to at all until we get an official one. I might just create a new one every few months. Look forward to Rust and Vulcan versions coming in the few months. Sarcasm. Woo-hoo. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> there, there, there you go. I, I am I am a fan of sarcastic readmes. Who who's old enough to yes. remember when uh Discord uh had was we're, we're gonna do a Steam? Well they kind of tried oh, yeah, to the, do a Steam the, for a, the Discord game store? Yeah, yeah it was like a whole weekend. And they're like, ah. Yeah, that that lasted for a whole of what three months? Oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> long enough to kind of like maybe they could do some and and, and it's gone. So mm-hmm. it, it lives on, it lives on, but maybe you just want to make your own games. Maybe you do. Yes. And, uh, maybe you don't want any of the widely available, um, source, eh, mildly available, uh, <laughs> so you, so engines so out you're there. Sitting around so, listening so, to so, your compact around. disc collection. collection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, listening to compact disc collisions, man. Just launching them at each other. Go. Is it, is it, is it, is it yes. Is that how they, that is extremely uh let's not go there the uh (laughs) if you want to make your own game (laughs) there's a new game engine game studio 2d it's it's fairly self-explanatory it's a 2d game engine uh and i was reading through the like the top bit there it says uh, the readmes it's like audio and then graphics to do Game to do engine to do is like, oh, okay. So, what kind of game engine doesn't give you graphics, game, or the engine itself? Ah, okay. Listen, it's the readmes that the, are to do. No, no, no. Right. This, okay. With, with this, you can make a really loud UI. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's basically shocking. an entirely audio only UI, which is something that all seriousness should actually exist. But the Dare, um, Dare, Daredevil desktop. Yeah. Uh, the, they actually have Valgrind support because I went, and this is a sizable, like, read me, uh, file that they have here. Uh, yeah. but at the end they have like, Ooh, Valgrind integration. Like they, they just tell you how to pipe things to Valgrind to uh, get some debugging going. That's very good. That's very good. It is. Mm-hmm. I, and I mean, like when, when the entire thing is C plus plus based, um, mm-hmm. using QT and open GLS. GLES 2.0 and 3.0 for uh, graphics. So it's going to be reasonably cross platform. And like, uh, they're, like the readme says the very, very long readme, uh, they're targeting primarily windows, uh, Linux and WASM. So you can play it in a browser. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's always quite cool to see like new engine projects show up. Cause like, especially on GitHub. Cause you know, if you're looking, if you're a new game dev, you're looking to contribute to something looking to get started somewhere. Yeah. Here's something to pick up and play with. That is a, uh... <sighs> I mean, when I first so I'm like, oh, that's a notification. I think I saw this on Hacker News. And I went and looked at it. I'm like, this has got a lot of work put into it so far. Yeah, there's like mm-hmm. a full-ass editor implemented. Like, yeah. Yes. Like, and it, it actually looks really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's something relatively new. And yeah, okay, is there room for yet another game engine? Yes, 100%. Because we, we don't want to get it dialed down to Unity and uh, 
Oh yeah, M- monoculture Unreal. is so bad for software development. <laughs> right. No, we, we we yeah we 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 want lots of lots of competition. We don't want to we don't want to standardize on products. We but my fragmentation. Standards. Shut up! It doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, t- type us out of here, baby. All right, coming up next, we're gonna mash some keyboards like a potato and maybe do the twists. Before our lives. Oh shit, get out your extra clicky keyboards and start mashing on them. It's time for the Chairquisition. Uh, what is it? It's when we take a game, run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions with suspiciously similar hardware uh, su- these days. Anyways. You say and, that. Uh, Wait until we all buy Pinto cards. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's basically hardware monoculture. Whatever you can fucking afford anymore these right? days. My God. Um, Pretty much. You know, without, without having to take on like a lean against your house. Anyways, we, we play some games on some Linux distributions we give you our thoughts. We rate them on a scale of uh, one to four lawn chairs. It's highly scientific. It is um, It is what um, NASA is considering using to measure hawking radiation out of black holes in the future. Uh, but uh, this week we're taking a look at On Key Up, done by uh, Roppy Chop. I kept wanting to say Roppy Choppy, but it's just Roppy Chop Studios on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about eight bucks. Um, get to know your keyboard with this unique physics based puzzle game, roll, <laughs> bounce, paint, and even break objects with each press of a key. we got to thank Roppy Choppy for sending us some keys. Um, right. I guess let's, let's, let, let's go down the list. Then how had it run on Debian three minutes or less. What you're witnessing is the first moment of like fucking really, um, <laughs> <laughs> your first playthrough of this game, but Hey, look, it had a dark mode, which I put it in and it was kind of brilliant. It saved me from burning out my eye holes now. <laughs> You can you got a couple options though. You do, man. When you start like graphical options, you can play in full screen or 720p windowed. You can't resize it. Uh Alt Enter does that trick, and that's kind of brilliant. QWERTY support, QWERTY Z support, A Z QWERTY support, but fuck Dvorak. That can just get wrecked. No support for that keyboard layout. Uh you do have options for sound. You can choose between on or off. It's kind of nice. And I'm running this on Debian 11 with an NVIDIA 2060 and a Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM, just enough to get me through. Now let's talk about the fun. That's what you're here for. I had a good time with what I played. Balancing the cylinder, rolling some dice, popping a balloon. The cylinder is what you're seeing right now. It did a good job explaining how to use the other keys to align things. It, it, it's teaching us some lessons right out of the gate. And I'm going to say that's well done. I like when I see that. And you know, the dice, the dice were all right, but I discovered keyboard smashing also got the job done. Eventually after I got frustrated one time, I'm like, smash, smash, smash. <laughs> then like, ding, you finished. I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> Popping the balloons is where I tapped out after a little bit of trying, because like the grip on the top of the keys were a bit much for my liking. And yes, I'm not going to get into a physics debate with this type of game. It's just, uh, you know, Mr. Poppy Triangle was kind of made out of super glue or something like that. Very high friction. Still, I'm probably going to come back to this because I want to make a hamburger and play with the pew pew lasers. I didn't get to that part yet. Kind of looking forward to it. And I like myself a good fucker on physics game with a little bit of optional RNG on the side, you know, and on key up. I got to say, it got the job done. And more, more importantly, I want to put this out there. You should absolutely be able to get your 799s worth out of this without really too much trouble. Now notice I didn't say without too much frustration because you will definitely encounter that. So yeah, solid, solid three chairs for this. And that's not just because I'm a sucker for a good puzzle game. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 35, 64-bit with the R9-3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti launched out of the box in a very, very tiny window. Uh, You can go full screen and it's all right. The doopy control music fits because you are duping around quite a bit. The, that sometimes sometimes the music is just like okay I get it I'm stupid leave leave me alone stop bullying me uh, the controls are just a keyboard but don't mash too hard because the spacebar and function keys aren't blocked out and I have accidentally closed the game through the XFCE menu at least once trying to mash so uh, just 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 a heads up uh, fun wise yeah I spent most of my time during the game screaming because it helps me get into the flow state I apparently cleared a couple puzzles that like point only point or three percent of the actual player base have gotten past so I'm, I'm gonna call that a win um, 
Yeah, definitely not using a keyboard in any way I'm used to. And the, the challenges get progressively worse as you find you need to find ways to like contort your hand and utilize all fingers on your keyboard. And duh. It, it it's it, it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, the car driving one that can fucking eat a bag of dicks. My Lord, that was that was not fun. Balloon popping took it took a hot minute. Um, dice rolling was also uh, a, there, there, there's a there's a good variety um, they, 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 they milk the core mechanic very well. Um, and based on you getting about one Chibo per level, I'm going to assume there are about 24 levels total. And given, given how much you're fucking around, you could probably hit the two hour mark on that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to give this one a recommendation. I really like it. I'm a glutton for punishment. I was like, fuck this game. And then I came back five minutes later. I'm like, all right, I got, I got this fucker. I'm gonna give it three chairs. Yeah, it, it kind of does uh, sneak up on you. Uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box. Yeah, 720p is all you get, uh, unless you feel like futzing around with a prefs file. Uh, even in full screen, it's just 720p, but upscaled. Uh, it holds 144 at 20, uh, 720p, because that's what it does. Um, the the background music, it's it's pretty good. I, I, I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. The graphics are, well, they're there. You can see on the video version that that's, yeah, that they're serviceable. Um, you can use the mouse for the menu, but it's a keyboard game, literally. It's a keyboard game that you can only play effectively if you have an English layout keyboard. Um, and uh, if you try to change the layout while the game is already running, that doesn't work. <laughs> Believe oh, me, It's I a good thing you're um, living in the land of the language, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. It's only for uh, English US because the uh, English UK keyboard has an ISO layout and that is an ANSI layout that the game gives you. And that's it. That, that That's all you get. That's my big issue with it. Um, I even tried some of the old, um, like some of the workarounds that work for other games when uh, they have localization issues. Like uh, setting LC underscore all equals C, so it defaults to uh, the one, but that doesn't make a difference. You really do need to change the layout as system wide. But as for the fun, yes, yes, it is fun if you have the aforementioned English keyboard. Uh, but that is going to push some people away. Uh, probably not the majority, since according to the Steam survey, the majority uh, of users on Steam, uh, you know, outside of China, seem to have their system set to English US. But still, uh, even if you have the keyboard layout, like I was mentioning earlier, set to English UK, the ISO variant, like the uh, backslash, is not above the enter key. It's actually down at the bottom. So, mm, yeah. the <laughs> I I really like weird games, like on KeyUp. I do. The, they, they force you to play with something that you're not usually used to doing. I mean, you all... We, you're playing games on PC. You're probably using your keyboard, but this one you're literally playing not, not with like your this. keyboard. Yeah, uh, you are aware of your input device in a way that you never were before, and that that's amazing. That that's actually really really well done. But yeah, the lack of proper like localized variants is something that I can't really overlook. So I can't give it the four chairs that it would otherwise have gotten. So it gets three, three chairs. Well deserved three chairs. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if you're looking for uh, if you got eight bucks hole, burning a hole in your pocket, this is not a bad way to spend it. Oh you man, will, uh, this is absolutely is. fun. Uh, you're you're seeing you, you can yeah, it's like uh, reset. This is <laughs> yeah. this is a problem. Can, can, that can, can you nuke it? <laughs> I, I did run into him. Like, can I move this damn thing finally? And sometimes uh, Jordan, you ran into it too. You can get the uh, triangle. I was. Yeah, triangle flat ball. against the yeah. shift key. Like I just, it was, it was at the far <laughs> end of the shift shift key. Could not move it. And it kind of sucked. But and the one thing I would say is maybe consider like setting the reset where it doesn't start you back at the begin of that block, beginning of that block where you have to go through all the puzzles. Because after just I popped that first balloon, that level specifically, I yeah. that first balloon and I went, yeah, we're done, and went right and like three balloons. Like oh fuck this game. Um, oh yeah, no, yeah, you, they, it gives you like a really hard challenge, and it's like yeah. All right, now do it four more times. <laughs> all in all, good job on that. Yes. Yes. It, yeah, right, it, it's a decently done rage game. You know, there, there's so few and far between. Coming Very up next. Very clever rage game. 
Yes. <laughs> Coming up next, I got 99 problems, but wine isn't one question mark. Yeah. You're not that big a fan of this part of the show as I am. That much is clear because yeah, you know, people, uh, throwing their complaints at us is, uh, kind of how I, <laughs> Uh, measure how well I'm doing with my life because if I'm not spending your time when off, you're bored and lonely, well, yes, that too. Uh, but <laughs> if I'm not pissing anyone off, I feel like I'm failing. So, uh, chances are I said something during the show, or Ven said something, or Jordan said something that uh, ticked you or rubbed you the so wrong way. I got a real way. question so, for you, Pedro. Go ahead. Let's, uh, let's say tomorrow, for whatever reason, um, uh, who, who makes uh, the Dark Souls? From software. From software. From software. What, Nam, what if, Nam Kai Bendo. Yeah, what if they pushed out a hard patch that just permanently broke it under Linux? I think Valve would have a word with them. <laughs> no, I mean, I, what, what word are they going to have? They're I like, would be annoyed, but uh, yeah. <laughs> would, you do, I mean, would you play it on PS4? Uh, no, I don't think it came out for the PS4. <laughs> Would you, would I, don't, you I, don't, I don't know these days. I don't know. Would you, would you install Windows on your <laughs> PS4 to play Elden Ring? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but I've had Linux running on that PS4. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just fire it up on a browser and there, exploit done. It, it, yeah. Sounds uh, but, like yeah, something if you could like do to, by heading over our contacts. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to let us know about your PS4 exploits, you can also absolutely do that. Linuxcapecast.com contact button. There's a form you got to fill. Hold off on the URLs because the bot will, um, well, it, it'll just bot's be. Bot's going to bot. <laughs> uh, it'll be filtered out. So don't. don't. Uh, there's a couple other caveats. If you're, if you're a game developer and you want to send us keys for your game, please do. Just make sure you include three so that we can all play it. That That's our only requirement. That's it. You don't need to pay us. You don't need to. Just three keys. That, that's it. Oh, there, no, that's an easy three. <laughs> that one's a little more difficult. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. That's, I think that's... you're just Wait, telling hold, hold people on. something at this point. I don't is, know. Is, 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 isn't that the Dane Cook thing? That's 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 what Dane Cook fans do. <laughs> I'm not even going to Google that, man. So Ayrton writes in about wine problems because Jordan is correct. <gasps> what? It no, would seem no, so. No, Jordan never, is correct. Never. Wine Proton solves the game portability problem for now. But in the future, Valve may drop Proton support, either that, or who would want to keep futzing around with Wine and Proton until it functions like intended? Ayrton, uh, what I like, I would like to introduce to you the last 20 years of going around with Wine trying to make shit run. Like, yeah, also, Valve just released a device that basically runs on Proton. It, in, in fact, it runs so much on Proton that um, I want somebody to mis- had a mis- very big this. issue with that. Misquote Pedro on this. He just said it, <laughs> SteamOS runs on Proton. I want I want a games radar to report that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I do think they have. They probably um, would, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think they do have a very, very strong um, motivation to keep footsing with Proton until it functions as intended. They bank their latest hardware thing on it so right. yeah no I, I don't think my i don't think my concern was ever that valve would so, stop supporting proton because like ben said like wine development will continue I'm, I'm i'm just my concern is more about like the long-term tenability of trying to like make all of this very specialized software work in proton and what that means for a code base like these the Pro- proton and releases having are- the de facto monopoly of valve just being the one company yeah. on top yeah, of being I've- the one game store yeah, like it, 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 it's it's a long term problem. We got to be critical of it. We can we can reap the benefits of it, but it's not an infinite resource. I I don't think it is, and I think most people would be a fool to believe otherwise, right? Well, I think there's like specialized problems that we're, we're not even pondering. I think one was brought up this week with Elden Ring. Like you think mm-hmm. you're the Elden Ring developers now, all of a sudden you got your player base going. Why the fuck does this run better on the Linux thing? The fuck. I mean, over a yep. translation layer instead yeah. of native. Yeah, fix yeah. our build. <laughs> I, I want yeah, a refund. And, 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 like, and, and then, and then the bottleneck is Valve, right? Like, there, it's on them and their ability to identify and resolve these problems in Proton. Like, it, 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 it is, it is, it is a limitation. Valve cannot theoretically do this for every single game. It's going to be only a few games. And what impact does that have on Proton as a whole? Right? 
Well, here's another thing, especially with the Proton. I was watching uh, the WAN show last night, and um, mm-hmm. Linus, not that one. Uh, not that one. <laughs> he was playing Horizon Ginger Turbo, and he's like, yeah, the first five hours is great, but like six through ten, it gets buggy and shite fast. To which my thought on that is, is that like, just because, yeah, Valve can't pay somebody to go through every game to completion, every especially game. like open world yeah. and all the quests and see mm-hmm. how deep can they go before they can say this is deck certified. They brought this up during the show, which I think is a good point, especially if this is like your IP and valves like, no man, this thing works great as intended 100% and it starts eating shit. Like, mm-hmm. But then again, but at that point, is it's, is that a proton issue or is that or a is game that how issue? it operates on and, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> if you, and if you're and if you're sony or if you're gorilla and you go well you know we didn't really put any effort into making this port is it worth it to even which they continue? didn't Th- that was yeah. a shit it, port it, when it first came out as well yeah yes. <laughs> yeah is, is it is it worth it for us to like actually fix it or like no we got this as a value add from being on steam like this if you if you can play our game like that great but we never intended you to be able to do that right um, w- w- at what point do the developers say that? Um, or do they get that disclaimer on their page? Like, hey, we do not support. I mean, if I'm just trying to think of the other side because it's really easy for us to go, yay, all oh, this is great. I'm trying to put myself in the position of we don't have anything to do with Linux. We don't know how to support Linux. Uh, this is um, why are people blowing us this up? This is a thing that Valve did, uh, but that's the thing. I'm sure if they went to Valve and they said, no, don't make our game seem verified or don't advertise that it can run on Linux. I'm sure Valve would be, okay, we'll now, just not advertise and, and, and your thing. What, 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 what's <laughs> interesting is like, Maybe, maybe like we, we've seen we've seen guys like Square and whoever go to uh, go to Code Weavers, and I think like this this is the time for these guys to like step up and be like, "Yo, if you're not looking at uh, if you're not looking at um, creating a native deck version for your experience, we are the people with the expertise to actually like fine tune the stuff. You need to be engaging us. We need to like." They, they, they need to be bringing that business to the, these development shops. The these problem with that is we end up in the same situation we have with unmaintained native ports because that money has to keep flowing in unless they develop that talent in-house in the game studio. And that becomes common enough to where they can maintain it themselves. Right, right. And- and that, and that's kind of what we're seeing now is that a lot of a lot of the a lot of like the advanced proton stuff is a result of like GE's a red hat uh, Eggy's a red hat employee. Let's not mince words. He's not like a hobbyist. This is he is he is a wine maintainer by trade, mm-hmm. so he knows how to do it. But it but it is it is ultimately a community effort because it's him putting it out. It's the community testing it, providing feedback, blah blah blah. So like I, I don't know. And the code weaver stuff does eventually get upstreamed. It's just a matter of like does, that has to be baked into the agreement. Is that going to be a thing that studios are going to agree? To. it's it's a much larger problem than it is it seems like on the fi- on face right it is there, there's, there's yeah we we can fuck around and find out that's the ride we're all on together <laughs> everyone involved and that's just how it's yeah, gotta be it's very very early days very yeah. very few people actual end users have the deck on hand right now so we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see we look forward to more <laughs> yep. people having their hands on their deck <laughs> at the end of the day yeah. also <laughs> we're, we're gonna see to striders next week basil 26 month resub. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Basil. Thank, thank you, you Basil. <laughs> it, it took me, it took me a minute. It takes a while. I didn't have that many. I had to take off my shoes to count all the way. Um, your, sh- your shoes? Shoes. Hand shoes. Hand, sh- hand shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Mittens. <laughs> On that, Bob Joe, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to deck ourselves right up in the holes. That's a euphemism, I'm sure, if you squint. But if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm at Vin on our federated timeline over at mastodonmast.linuxgamecast.com. And I'm always hanging around in our IRC and uh, our Discord. We got that. Come hang in there if you're a Twitch sub or a patron, because that's where we're at the other six days of the week. I'm Jordan. You can find me creeping around on Twitter for your deck picks at The Burning Fool, or very rarely streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And if you're playing Elden Ring, and if you see a summon sign for a just a character called Pidra, that, that's me. Anybody you see, <laughs> just jump and try to murder the fucker, and hopefully you'll get And, uh, yeah, you, you can invade me. That's fine, too. And if uh, you're on the multiplayers, just put Linux on the first multiplayer group, uh, or whichever multiplayer groups you happen to have open, uh, because there's already quite a few people uh, on the Linux group, so by all means, are, come are join they, us. Are they a bunch of rotten assholes? Are they griefers? I learned about mm-hmm. watching you, Dad. 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I've seen a few messages from the Linux people. By the that, way, that, people, that's actually Arch turned oh. 20 this week. Get off its lawn. My, I'm crumbling to dust. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, we got to thank our advisors. We got Omega Artharian. We got a new one. Or no, we got a new executive producer. LDS, Barbaram, Scott Bishop, Mr. Fox, Doc, Atomic, Tass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, and Tomas, and our little Nicky fans, Tomas. Darkwing, and Abstraction. Uh, little. Did we get and Jack notes? B, Renault, Rudder X, Machina, Trudgy, Vertanuda, Justin, Frostclaw, and Strider, Nova, Pathling, Chad, Romeo, and more Thomas, Marson, all of all. System D, Phil. yes, Phil wants some Get your A, awesome. and um, I, I'm, I'm still not entirely sure. Kai, you, you need to tell me how to pronounce your new name. <laughs> George. Beautiful people, uh, keep your hands on your decks, keep your hands where you can see them, along with your decks, and uh, don't resell your deck. That's dangerous. Spread your cheeks, lift your taint. Bye bye. <laughs> In that order. Five dudes. <laughs>